Huskies, welcome back to Honorary Huskies. I'm Glory Amador, your host. Hello, I'm Gloria and I'm your host for, host for our monthly Honorary Huskies. Today we're going to in interview Mr. Pristella. Hi guys, how's it going? Good. So, Joe Pristella and I'm principal here at Holland Crest. First year principal. Oh, first year? Correct. Uh, okay, what is your favorite thing to do during your during free time? During free time, I have three kids that are six and under at home, so like my favorite thing is to play with them and clear a spot on the floor. And <laughs> the two older boys, when I come home, want to either wrestle in the living room or go on my bed and wrestle and like have a pillow fight. So love amazing, doing, love doing that stuff. Uh, okay, what is a fun and interesting fact about you? A fun and interesting fact about me. Um, I'm kind of a kind of a movie geek, so I like I like to watch movies in, in my free time. My kids are really into like Star Wars, so the Christmas list this year has been predominantly uh, Star Wars featured toys and stuff. So, uh, do you have a favorite genre? A favorite genre like sci-fi, oh, sci-fi, really? fantasy. Yep, yeah. I can I can dabble in the Star Trek sometimes too, but mostly mostly the Star Wars universe. So, uh, Disney or Pixar? Oh man, Disney or Pixar? Um, you know, of those two, I really like, um, if I, if there was one movie that was like Disney or Pixar that I had to watch over and over again, I think it would be Ratatouille. Oh, yeah. So I think it would be Pixar then. I think okay. that, I can't know if that's Disney Animation or Pixar, but uh, Ratatouille is a good one. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, what is your, what is your favorite candy or snack? My favorite candy or snack. Mm. So some people have a sweet tooth. I have a salt tooth. Really? Like, yeah. So I usually like. Like salty stuff, like uh, French fries. But if it was a candy, I think um, there's a candy bar called 100 Gram, which is like my favorite candy. Oh, those bar. are really good. Yeah, those are really good. Yeah. It's like a little, it's like a Rolo and a Crunch Bar all combined. Yeah, so it's, it's a really good. good. One. Yeah. If you could meet one person, past or present, who would it be and why? Um, I think it would be if I could meet one person, past or present, it would probably be maybe like JFK. Because that's it's very interesting to me. Um, we talk about like setting goals all the time, and there's a, a person that teaches about setting uh, like a big, hairy, audacious goal. And he set a goal like that when he said like in ten years we're going to put a man on the moon, and it's something no one had ever done before. So to be able to set a goal like that and monitor and implement, and then actually see it through, or have that come uh, to fruition, that's really impressive to me. So you would you would want to talk to him about future goals and like, like how what was the why did you make that your goal and what how did you line things up for a goal that that was so crazy so to set a goal to do something that no one had ever done before you know what does that look like when there's no blueprint yeah okay can you name one thing from your bucket list uh, from my bucket list um, there was a time when I was in college and uh, I played football and, and part of the team would take a trip to Yosemite and climb Half Dome. Oh, and really? for one reason or another, when it was like my class's year to do that, it didn't happen. So it's a goal for me on my bucket list to climb Half Dome. You know, oh, so wow. Like that. so, That's definitely a goal for me too. That's a good one, yeah. That is, wow. Okay. Thank you for watching. Priscilla Chang. Priscilla Chang. What subject do you teach? I teach math. Do you uh, suggest seventh grade? Uh, I teach four classes of the seventh grade and one group of sixth graders. Okay. Uh, okay. So second question: We're, What is your favorite thing to do during free time? Mm, my favorite thing to do is to play tennis. So I play with my husband. I play competitively, and my son, who's a year and a half, he already has his own tennis. Yeah. Do you guys do like competitions and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, so I play competitively on the weekends. Um, I've done one mini tournament. So, Have you ever won any like big tournaments? 
Um, so the last one we played, it was a team tournament, and we actually won first. So I'm just lucky. I have a really good team. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Okay, what is one fun and interesting fact about you? Um, I don't know about fun, but some I, I don't know. I guess something interesting is I like to cook and I like to bake, but I'm not very good at it. Mm -hmm. So like I like to experiment, and I'm also very clumsy in the kitchen so anytime like when in college when i would cook or try to bake something there would always be someone who would want to watch me just in case i get hurt or something <laughs> <laughs> i always get hurt in the kitchen you somehow. you have fun doing it but yeah. you may not be the best yes i i really enjoy it i'm not the best what's your favorite thing to make um i just like to bake different stuff but one thing i make a lot is uh a banana bread with walnuts so that's that one I'm, I'm actually okay with making without getting hurt. Without getting hurt. Yeah. Yeah. I know I burn myself multiple times in the kitchen. Uh, what is your favorite candy or snack? Um, I love sour candy. Anything that's sour. Any that's sour, like favorite. Sour Patch Kids? Yeah, Sour Patch Kids. Those watermelon ones. The yeah. Sour Trolley. Uh-huh. Anything sour. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite. Simple. Mm -hmm. Uh... <laughs> If you could meet one person from the past or the fre uh, the present, who would it be and why? Oh, this one is hard. I couldn't think of anyone, but just to relate to my favorite hobby for tennis, um, I guess I would want to meet Roger Federer. He's like a really good tennis player. Did he pass? No, he's still alive. Oh, okay. Um, he's actually, I think, 40-something. But anyways, usually by this time, people have retired or they're not in their prime anymore, but he's still... Um, really, really good. But the main thing about him is he's always been known as like a really good person. He donates to foundations and he never seems to get frustrated. Like he doesn't, he's always very composed. So I just, he's just someone that's interesting to me. So you'd want to meet him because is he like a role model to you? Yeah. Um, I guess as a celebrity and also um, an athlete, you know, we are under the limelight a lot, the, the spotlight a lot. Um, and it's easy to, you know, get frustrated and things like that, but you never see that side of him. So I'm just curious. curious. Yeah. And he's a family person too. So I'm curious how he balances everything so well. Oh. Yeah. Uh, name one thing that is on your bucket list. Um, I've always wanted to see the Aurora Borealis. It's like the North, it's the lights. The lights. Yes. Yeah, so I really want to see that, but hopefully soon. Yeah. Well, those are usually out in like. Uh, New um, York. you can yeah, you can go see them in Alaska, but they only show up, you know, certain times of the year. Yeah, during if, winter. I believe. Um, I'm not too sure, but it just depends on the timing, and with work and all that, it's all hard to find the right time. Yeah. Uh, is there anything you'd like to add to the interview, or anything you'd like to say to students, or anything? Um, I don't know. <laughs> To students or to just anyone who's watching the video or something like that. Um, okay, I guess. I'm just very thankful to be where I'm at. Um, I really like working with everyone that's here at Holland Crest. The kids are great, the staff are great, and it's just, it's like a second home. Yeah. Today we're going to interview Ms. Ariaza. My name is Ms. Sariaza and I'm the school counselor here at Holland Crest Middle School. I love being a counselor because I get to work with you kids and I've always liked working with kids and helping them with their problems or helping them plan for college and career, you know, later on in their future. Mm -hmm. Do kids ever come back and like say, like um, talk to you about when they're in like in college and they come back saying they're in this school and that you really help them or something? Yeah, they do. So a lot of kids come back from like the high school or when they've graduated from high school and they do say that, you know, it's always nice to hear that you made an impact in their lives or they remember things that you said and they always remember that Holland Crest is one of the best schools. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is your favorite thing to do during free time? Uh, I would say be with family and friends and I love to dance. Ooh, dancing is... Isn't that fun? Do you have any... Cool dance moves. No, I have no yeah. cool dance moves no cool to show you. <laughs> okay, what is a fun and interesting fact about you? Um, a fun and interesting fact. Um, probably most kids wouldn't think that maybe I, I love to dance and I, I love to sing and I love listening to music. 
Wait, what's your favorite genre of music? Um, believe it or not, I love like I I like everything, like from rap to um, R and B to pop to classical to mariachi music. So I like everything. Country, I'm the same way, just all music yeah. is good to hear. All music's good music. Uh, do you have like a a favorite candy or snack? I like Kit Kats, Twix. And I love, like, cookies, sugar cookies. Sugar cookies. Mm -hmm. Is there, like, a certain brand that you like? No, just any sugar cookie. Really? Yeah, I'm not a snob. Do you bake? <laughs> um, I do like to bake. I like, like cake and cookies and what else? Cupcakes. I love cupcakes. Mm. <laughs> now you're getting me hungry. I know. If you could meet one person from the past or present, who would it be and why? Um, if I could, I already know them, but if I could go back it now or meet with someone again, it would probably be my grandparents. They've passed away now, so, you know, you don't realize how important your grandparents are. I mean, I cherished and loved them while they were here, but I would love to be with them again. There's still so many questions that I have to ask and get to know, you know what I mean, get to know them even more. It would be your grandparents because you just want to get to know them better? Well, I felt, yeah, I feel like I didn't get to spend as much time with them as I as I could have. Um, Did they pass away when you were a kid? No, they, they passed away probably maybe like four years ago. Oh, okay. So, although I did get to spend time with them, I feel like as life gets busy, you know, you, you, you sometimes don't get to spend as much time with people that you love. So, you know, due to work and, you know, my family obligations. So it'd just be nice to get to have maybe one more day with them and spend with them. So just spend time with your family. Because yeah. Because you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Cherish your family. Can you name one thing from your bucket list? Mm hmm That I would love to do. One of them that is for sure on my bucket list is, have you ever heard of like Fiji or like Bora Bora? It's, mm -hmm. it's, so I want to go there and I want to stay in one of those like little huts. Oh, like wow. over the ocean water. You know how they do that? Have mm -hmm. you seen that? Yeah, so that's what I want to do. I think the best thing is just uh, enjoy your time while you're here at Holland Crest because it goes fast. Uh, make the best of it. Uh, enjoy your friends. Work on your grades. And look forward to your future, which is bright. And have a good time in high school. Don't let anything, you know, hold you back. And if you need anything, you always can come up here to the office and talk with me. Hi, I'm Mrs. Hodgson, and I teach sixth grade here at Holy Cross. And I teach ELA and social studies. Uh, so, uh, what is your favorite thing to do during free time? Um, during my free time, I enjoy spending time. I like to walk my dogs. I enjoy reading. Um, I also love to take dance classes as well. Oh, wow. Do you have any good dance moves? Um, I know some. <laughs> Probably a few. <laughs> uh, what is a fun and interesting fact about you? A fun and interesting fact about me would be probably that um, I could be adventurous. I've done like uh, zip lining in Central America. I love to travel and I've just done uh, parasailing and things like that. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite candy or snack? Uh, peanut M&M's. Okay. <laughs> oh, sh you just didn't have to think about that No, one. I didn't have to think about it. <laughs> right, this is a little bit harder one. Uh, if you could meet one person, past or present, who would it be? Um, I'd have to say JFK. And why? Um, there's something about just his, his personality, the way he spoke, and the way he carried himself that I've always found very intriguing. So he's like um, a mentor to you? I guess you could say so. I, I think he's, he was very intelligent, and this past summer I got to go visit the JFK Museum in Boston. Oh. I got to learn so much more about him, and it just made him that much more interesting to me. Oh wow, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, could you do one thing on your bucket list? Um, that would have to be definitely traveling. I love to travel, and just travel to more countries and discover new places. So, uh, what place have you not been? that you would really love to go? Uh, Santorini, Greece. That's on my list for sure. And what is something that you've already visited but you love? That would have had to be in Vietnam. Vietnam, had to really? visit Vietnam and it was beautiful there, so yeah. <laughs> Career choice? Career choice, thank you. No, it was not. 
<laughs> what was your first career choice? It was actually, I wanted to go into journalism and become a newscaster. Like the, the really? Who, yeah, the one who reports the news on TV. That's, that's <laughs> thanks for watching Honorary Huskies. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tune in for next time. Bye-bye.